Hey guys, welcome back to Derek's Workshop. So I've got a little bit of an announcement. I guess it might be a little bit of an explanation. I guess I'll just jump right into it. So as most of my subscribers know, I've got, uh, I had a whole bunch of Milwaukee cordless tools, the M18 line, uh, back from my days of plumbing and HVAC. Uh, at least some of my longer term subscribers know that when I was uh, doing that kind of work. I had these tools to use every day uh, and help me make money with my job. Uh, and then, as also a lot of my subscribers know, I have gone back to school and I am a college student. And so I'm not necessarily using these tools every day anymore. Uh, they mostly sit around in my shop and don't do anything. They sit out there in the hot summers and the cold winters. And I think it has kind of started to ruin the batteries for uh, the Milwaukee tools after so long of doing that. And I came to that conclusion because I started building a playhouse for my kids for Christmas uh, out of pallet wood. And so I was cutting a lot of pallets with my Sawzall and uh, screwing a hundred screws in to put all the slats from the pallets as the siding on the playhouse and cutting a lot of the 2x4s out of the pallets uh, for the framing and everything. So uh, while using these tools I kind of noticed that the performance was really lacking in them. They just weren't working as well as they used to and I can pretty much contributed that to the batteries. I haven't really used those tools that much. Uh, inside of my shop doing other projects like I'll use the drill a little bit here and there but I haven't just like used the tools like for hours on end a couple day you know day after day while like I have building this playhouse and so I just haven't really noticed the performance drop and uh, so I got to thinking about you know kind of my situation how I needed new batteries for all my Milwaukee tools and I also knew that Obviously, I have some Bauer tools, too, uh, because a whole lot of my subscribers have come from um, one of my most popular videos, the comparing the Milwaukee angle grinder to the Bauer angle grinder. And so I kind of got to thinking, you know, I don't really want, let alone need, to spend $100 on another 3 amp hour battery. I know that they're not always that much. Sometimes you can get them for good deals. And there's even aftermarket batteries like... Uh, non OEM or whatever, however, you know, whatever you would call them, uh, aftermarket batteries that come from China that are just absolute junk. I've used them before. I don't remember in what tool line I had, but, uh, I have used some aftermarket batteries and they just never, the tools don't perform as well and the batteries just don't last and they don't work. So, I kind of needed a solution and I just kind of got to thinking, you know, what if I sold my Milwaukee tools and that's ultimately what I ended up doing. I've sold every last one of them. I think I ended up getting about 450 bucks after everything was all said and done for about six tools, five batteries and two chargers I believe so maybe not well yeah anyway the number doesn't really matter but um, I got quite a bit for them it might have actually been $360 when all was said and done but I'm able to replace uh, basically every single Milwaukee tool that I owned with a Bauer tool except for the multi-tool and I'm sure that Bauer will come out with, uh, Harbor Freight will come out with one of those multi-tools in the future anyway for the Bauer tool line. And I'm not really worried about it because I have had that tool for a year and I've honestly not used it once. So other than that, I've been able to replace it. Haven't had to spend any more out of pocket, money out of pocket. I've got a battery for every single one of my tools and the battery costs are just significantly less. So I, that was pretty much what it came down to was, uh, the battery cost and just the cost for me to expand, uh, my own Bauer tool line. It's like basically 120 bucks minimum 
for every Milwaukee tool that I add to my uh, collection, so to speak, of tools where with the Bauer, we're looking between like 40 and $80. Like I think I spent $89 on the half inch impact wrench. So quite a bit cheaper and uh, the batteries are way cheaper, way more affordable uh, than the Milwaukee batteries. So is this to say that, you know, I went into this Bauer, uh, the Bauer tool system thinking that it was as good or better than Milwaukee. Uh, definitely not. I know that Milwaukee is better, but I do just want to make a point that, uh, the Milwaukee tools, like I'll just use the grinder. For example, again, most of you have already heard this, but you can get a coupon for the Bauer grinder for $40, uh, from Harbor Freight. And then the grinder from Milwaukee, you can go to Home Depot and pick it up for $120. That's literally one third less. And sorry, that the angle grinder, the Milwaukee angle grinder is just the bare bones basic, not the fuel version or anything like that. So the Bauer grinder is literally one third the cost of the Milwaukee angle grinder. And I think that the Bauer angle grinder performs at at least 90% of the Milwaukee angle grinder. Like the Milwaukee is a little bit better. I think you probably get a little bit better run times, maybe a little bit stronger of a tool, like a little bit better performance. And then, uh, the, uh, internal protection deal that they have, where if you are using it too hard, it kind of shuts itself off. I think that the Milwaukee might be slightly, uh, less finicky in that way than the Bauer, but overall, I mean, it's, there's no way it's that the Bauer performs even half as well as the, the Milwaukee. It's like I said, it, it's probably like 90%. It's real close. And I think that a lot of these tools are going to be that way, you know, 75 performing like 75 to 90% as well as the Milwaukee version. Bauer's not exactly as good as Milwaukee, not saying that at all, not feeling that way. Um, but I feel like the value that you're getting for the money you're spending on the tool versus how good of quality the tool is and how the performance is with the Bauer tools, I think is just, it's totally worth it. Um, do I think that, you know, if I had to go back into the trades or something like that, would I be using Bauer? Well, honestly, I'd be using my Bauer tools until I could get back into a better tool system. But, um, especially plumbing, if I went back in, I'd be going with Milwaukee because they have so many specialized plumbing tools that, uh, work really well for plumbers, but overall working in my shop, doing a lot of metal work, a uh, little bit of woodworking things that, you know, are just for fun, just to make videos. I even do a little bit of side work, a little bit of mechanic, small engine stuff on the side, make a little extra cash doing that kind of thing. So, uh, they do make me a little bit of money, but they're definitely not a primary use tool. Uh, I use my wrenches and things like that a little bit more with most of the money that's made out of my shop. Anyway, this has probably gone on long enough, long enough explanation. So I no longer have any cordless Milwaukee tools. I have replaced them all with uh, cordless Bauer tools. So be ready for that. And if you're a subscriber that is into the Bauer tools, uh, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know if you would like to see uh, reviews done on the Bauer tools. If you think I made a dumb decision purchasing the Bauer tools and selling the Milwaukee tools, let me know below, you know, with a constructive comment why that was a bad idea, because I am questioning a little bit whether or not I really made the best decision there just over the cost of, you know, new batteries and expanding the tool line for myself, my own collection. Uh, just let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one. See you next time.